if you installed macOS Tahoe and you're thinking, okay, it's just an update, here's one thought. You still haven't turned on the real Tahoe. Because the real Tahoe doesn't start with wallpapers or shiny new menus. It starts in shortcuts. I used to treat shortcuts like a toy. Like, sure, cool, you can automate stuff. But then I caught myself doing the same dumb motions every single day, opening the same apps, arranging the same windows, silencing distractions, hunting down a file, renaming a pile of screenshots, checking the network because something feels slow. And right there, that's the moment shortcut stops being a gimmick and becomes your personal control panel for Tahoe. The simplest formula is this. One trigger and a whole chain of actions happens for you. And here's the key thing to understand. In macOS Tahoe, shortcuts isn't I make one shortcut and forget about it. It's more like a toolkit. You build a set of buttons around your real life, work, editing, studying, cleanup, any repeating routine that quietly eats your time. And I'll start with something most people get wrong. They don't even launch shortcuts the smart way. They open the Shortcuts app and hit play like it's a lab experiment. Shortcuts becomes powerful in Tahoe when it's as easy to run as opening an app. You've got a few solid ways to do it. You can add it to Finder as a quick action when it's meant to work on a file or a folder. You can pin a shortcut to the menu bar when you want it like a quick toggle. You can run it from Spotlight, type the name, hit enter, and yes, you can even drop it into the dock so it's literally one click away all the time. And at that point, it's not automation for the sake of automation. It's speed. You run the action right where you already are, instead of stopping what you're doing just to go open the Shortcuts app first. Now, here's the main thing. I'll show you why I even opened Shortcuts after installing Tahoe. I made a shortcut with a painfully simple name, Start and it doesn't do anything magical. It just puts me into work mode. One trigger and Tahoe turns into a clean, focused workspace. No hold on, let me close stuff. No where's my tasks window, no uh notifications again. One trigger and everything's in place. It turns on focus so I'm not getting pulled in 10 directions. It levels my volume because I'll go too quiet, then too loud and annoy myself. It bumps brightness because sometimes I work like a mole and then wonder why my eyes are cooked. Then it closes or hides all the junk and opens exactly two apps I need right now. And the best part, it arranges the windows the way I like them. That's it. It's not a wow feature. It's I just saved myself 30 seconds. But I don't do it once. I do it dozens of times a week. And that's where the real savings start stacking up. Time, focus, and a lot less mental friction. After that, I realized Shortcuts in Tahoe isn't just for work mode, it's for the tiny things that constantly get under your skin. Screenshots are the perfect example. One screenshot, then another, and suddenly your desktop looks like a junk drawer. So I made Screenshot Cleanup. It asks one question, which project is this for? And it instantly moves everything into the right folder. Desktop stays clean, and I stop living in I'll sort it later mode. And then there's Finder stuff, but the kind Shortcuts is actually great at. Not forcing it to do things Finder already does perfectly. For me, the big one is file routing. I right-click a file, run a quick action, and it drops that file exactly where it belongs. Receipts to one folder, video assets to another, screenshots to a project folder, and it can even tag them so they're searchable later. That's when Shortcuts stops feeling like an app you open and starts feeling like Tahoe grew extra buttons exactly where you need them. And this is where people ask, okay, but how do I start fast if I don't want to build everything from scratch? And that's the right question. The quickest move is to grab a ready-made idea from the gallery and customize it. Because most of the time, you don't need some unique genius logic, you just need a solid template. 
One of the best templates is a shortcut that sets up split screen with two apps. Why? Because 80% of the time you're working in pairs anyway. Browser plus notes, editing plus a project folder, an editor plus reference material. And when you turn that into one button, Tahoe starts to feel like a system you built, not just a desktop with windows. The only thing that can genuinely annoy you at the start is permissions. Tahoe takes security seriously, and that's a good thing. But if you want your shortcuts to do anything grown up, you'll sometimes need to allow script running or confirm access to the apps they control. It's not scary. It's just the deal you make. You give shortcuts permission to actually help you. And the best part is you can share shortcuts. If you build the perfect button, start work or clean downloads, you can literally send it as a link to a friend or to yourself on another Mac. And that turns into a collection fast. You end up with modes, work, editing, travel, night mode, quick cleanup, diagnostics. And macOS Tahoe stops being just another macOS version. It becomes your personal interface. So if you still think shortcuts isn't for you, here's the most honest test. Pick one daily routine you always do by hand. Anyone. Opening the same windows, sorting files, prepping your workspace, cleaning up screenshots, setting a focus mode, whatever. And build one shortcut that solves exactly that. One. Not ten. One. Because the moment you press that button for the first time and watch Tahoe do something you normally do yourself, it clicks. And after that, you won't be asking, why shortcuts? You'll be asking, what routine do I delete next? 